And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're here as Freddy. We're on the Red Forest. And we are playing Impossible Skill Check Freddy. We haven't really played much of that in a while. Hey, let's put that right there where I'm sure it will be easily discovered. Uh, big map. I don't know how that's going to work out. Oh my god, our other totem is right in the main building. Come here. All right. It's a stack of lullaby. We're actually going to come up here and try. To maybe protect that. They healed, but I have no idea where. Was alive, huh? This is the same gentleman we hooked already. Missing some skill checks. What? She just nice play. Point of view attacked us. Nice. Age undone. I believe they found one of our totems. We have one hook. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, well, whoever broke that, we're going to hopefully make... Hopefully going to make very sorry. We have not exactly run these loops very well. So what's the point of those blood pools again? I think maybe she thought we were gonna respect the pallet. We did indeed not respect the pallet. Do I not have a hook anywhere? Oh. How do I? 
you running breakdown or did you salvo that hook? It's not our totem, right? Ah! Alright, let's get this with blessing. All these noises. One might have been a little too far. A little too far off this. This thing, uh, this thing has been running us ragged. That sucks. Lots of pallets, big map. We honestly kind of messed that up. We needed to wait. Healing skill shot. God. Come on, man. None of our tricks are working. That's just such a bad loop. I'm not going there. Here, if they want to keep running away to parts of the map that don't have gens, I'm actually okay with that.
Alright. Have you not seen my totem yet? Ah! How have you not seen my totem yet? Ah! Ah, that's four stacks. We know someone's over here, right? Yeah. So Cheryl, we couldn't rest. Uh, we couldn't book before. All right. My question is: Did the did the sable see our totem? might have she was coming back here all right we have a little bit of pressure finally so we have not really played this one all that well oh, they're getting killed on these skill checks all right Chasing the fang here is pointless too. Dens are over here. Every time they miss the skill check. All right, whatever. Not, not chasing at the building. He's wisely leaving the shack. Cheryl is over there and injured. No pallet here. We should be able to get her, right? Yeah, we should. Should be able to get her. Fair enough. Somebody's head bot. I did. You gotta run back for the safety of the building? I don't think you're close enough. A little balance landing. Well, we know where Cheryl's at.
He's just running back in the building. No. And no hatch offering. And they let go. So it's a race for the hatch. Which we're not going to win, but not too bad. Bit of a slow start. A bit of a slow start that we rebounded with. So start we rebounded with the uh, the Trevor had a rainbow map that probably helped him to find Hatch and he healed up likely with inner strength. We saw him run to the main building. My guess is he might have jumped into a locker there and we just we just couldn't hear him. Didn't get close enough to the locker he was in to, to sniff him out. Um, they broke one of our totems that was in just a ridiculously awful location as they tend to be. But the second totem was actually well hidden enough, and I don't know how hard they looked for it. We thought the Sable might have seen it, but in the end, they never broke it. We got five stacks of lullaby, that elusive five stacks of lullaby. Every time they missed a skill check while they were asleep, lullaby, 6% regression, overcharge, 4% when they missed the skill check there. That's 10 and then additional 4% with the blue dress. That's 14% on top of the regular regression. That's a lot of regression for a missed skill check. So uh, this build has worked in the past, but it's always been very, very uh, reliant on whether the totems can stay up. Undying can only do so much, but in this case, Undying did what it needed to do. It protected a bad totem spawn location gave our lullaby additional life and definitely that helped us I think to, to win this matchup and uh, again it's a fun build to play uh, lots of missed skill check sounds are always music to, to our ears whenever we play this build and in the end uh, again the fang ran us really well uh, we were pathing poorly or the fang was pathing very well but whatever the case may be or both uh, she did very well the team, all things considered, didn't do badly for as many skill checks as they were they were missing with no warning. Uh, again, it's just about keeping the totems up. We just needed to keep up one, which we did. That helps us to get the win. Hope you enjoyed the round. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. New videos go up on the channel on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11. Get notified whenever we're live there. Till the next time, thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.